This was a dream, but one of the scariest I've ever had. So it ranks in my top 10 nightmare list. I had this dream last year while living in a dorm. The room in the dream was an exact copy of my actual dorm room. The layout, all the furniture, everything was identical. What was I doing there? Sleeping in the bed. So there were no signs to indicate it was a dream. Here's what happened in the dream. I awoke abruptly. My eyes still closed, I could tell it was still night. Since no light hit my eyelids, only the glow of the exterior dorm lights entering the room. Nothing unusual but I had an ill feeling. Like something eerie had approached right next to me. I tried to ignore it and go back to sleep. Lying still I sensed a presence by the bedside. Something in the room? But with the door locked, I told myself it was just my imagination. As the feeling persisted, I gradually dozed off. But before fully falling asleep, something distinctly touched my leg over the covers. Not forceful, but unmistakable. I, reflexively provoked by this intruder disturbing my sleep, I angrily threw off the covers and looked to where I felt it. Something's there. Being a bit elevated, I couldn't quite see atop the bed. But I heard something crawling. I could just peek over to check. But with the bed against three walls, I had nowhere to run. So I just waited for it to reveal itself. The squirming thing didn't seem to move too quickly, irregularly wriggling. Instinctively, I thought. It's not leaving the bedside so it must want something from me up here. Nerving myself to face it gradually. Part of it came into view, dimly in the dark room. The exterior light barely reached this spot by the beds for example. It illuminated the bed except for right where this thing lurked. Squinting at the indistinct shape, it seemed hairless, perhaps an animal. Whatever it is, nothing good can come at this hour from an unidentified creature. I'll finish it off as soon as it shows itself. I resolved, waiting. Then its form finally became clear. Frozen, I saw it resembled an infant's hand. Like it was trying to crawl atop the bed, grasping the mattress for example. Directly under the exterior security light. Unmistakably that hand was dark reddish, coated in some kind of vista substance. I had no desire to touch it, but had to keep it from fully climbing up. So, I kicked the hand away. Of course that alone wouldn't deter the creature, it kept squirming. Before long the hand re-emerged atop the bed. Clearly it was intent on getting up here. Again and again I kicked the hand down but it just kept reappearing. This cycle continued it seemed a quick learner. Immediately trying again after each rebuff. Its body must be. Realizing I had to strike the main body, I waited for it to emerge. The lone hand became two, and I could see a dark shape trying to ascend. The form was unmistakably an infant, also covered in that slimy film. When half its body made it onto the bed, I abruptly stood and powerfully punted the thing away. It flew until hitting the trash can. As I watched, it righted itself and resumed slowly crawling my way. I couldn't see its face, but something about its color and the hues. It seemed rotten. My only thought was, a putrid baby is trying to do something to me. Pure terror. When it neared the bed again, I launched it towards the door with a fierce kick. Without stable footing kicking barefoot against its mushy body, I couldn't unleash full force. In desperation, I recalled the shoes I'd brought into the room. That's it. Before it could return to the bed, I swiftly grabbed the shoes and put them on standing atop the mattress to face the infant. I kicked it down each attempt to climb up, then got off the bed to kick it, with all my strength to the entrance. Hard to describe. Like punting a sopping wet quilt. It flew down the hall, slamming into the front door. Phew. That was scary. But to my horror, it slowly righted itself again, and resumed crawling my way. 
neither quick nor vigorous, yet somehow talk beyond expectation, intensifying the terror. That didn't work. I kicked again with all my might, but nothing stopped it. No matter how hard I punted the thing, it always crawled back relentlessly. Remembering a fluorescent light switch near me, I flicked it on to clearly see its form. Shaped like a year old infant. No hair, its entirely dark red body modeled in places. Parts of its hands and feet were bent, maybe from my attacks. Desperate to halt its movements, I grabbed a long knife from the kitchen beside me, lifted up the creature, slammed it against the wall, and stabbed towards its chest region. The knife pierced through and stuck firmly in the wall behind. Now even if alive it couldn't budge, I felt uneasy about my action. But it seemed necessary, the thing kept struggling vigorously despite being impaled. Now what do I do? That's when I awoke from the dream. Upon waking an indescribable sickening feeling remained. The vivid tactile memory of punting and grabbing it. And that day my legs were sore. This was just a dream, right?